Hi, I'm Peter Beale from um, Local Land Services in Taree. Just going to discuss some of the applications for the pasture or the farming forecaster uh, probes that are around the Taree area and right out to Scone. The beauty of these uh, probes is that they actually tell us what's happening in the soil and, and when we look at, um, at the past few months we've had very very wet conditions but we're coming into spring and traditionally in at this location the uh, rainfall will drop below evaporation and the soils start to dry out. When we look at the probe right now we find that um, you know this the plants like this are still actively growing there's still really good soil moisture but they're heading down they're starting to use moisture and the really critical thing is <clears throat> are we going to get enough rain in the next 20 to 30 days of a rotation to get a good response from the nitrogen we apply at the moment the probes are saying there's 60 percent moisture in the profile um, there is a chance of rain coming tonight and La Nina is predicted for the next three months. So we're quite optimistic that in the next um, 10 to 20 days that we're gonna get good responses to nitrogen applied. And that just gives confidence to keep applying it. But somewhere in the next 20, 30 days, things may dry out, it's, it's not unusual. And there may be a decision where the soil moisture actually drops below that 50% it's dry down deep, the moisture's been used by these plants and you might, there's no rain on the horizon. It might be the wisest thing to do just to back off and, and just not apply nitrogen or reduce your rate, reduce your expectation of what you might get. It's all about risk management. It's about looking at the evidence at hand. But we, you know, we have a seven day forecast, we have a long range forecast and now we have the ability to look at the soil profile in five or six different locations in the region and just see <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> what's happening under the soil and uh, and what what's the best decision I might make. So what we've been talking about with the use of these probes is all contained in a, uh, a fact sheet that we've put together in the last couple of months. It talks about spring. We've also got uh, other ones coming out about what you do in summer with Kaikiu. And, uh, and for sowing around <coughs> uh, in the March. So to just see how we can use these probes and, um, and inform decisions better. So that'll be online, just you can download it and, um, and read in a lot more detail what we're talking about for this spring. Mm -hmm.